Hey all, Hiba here and uh, welcome to yet another video on Sea of Conquest. Now this time I'm tackling a video that a lot of you have asked for and it's really about gangs, tips and tricks to do well in a gang and of course how to pick a gang and also how to exit a gang and of course uh, how to actually help your gang prosper because gangs are the most important aspect in this game. Uh, you cannot really make it far in this game without joining a gang and uh, you'll have to join a good gang, right? So in this video, I'll tell you how to do that. All right, so first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to join a gang because I got a lot of questions on that and you have to be a certain level before you can do it, right? But joining a gang is actually fairly easy. What you gotta do first is figure out which gang to join, but I will come to that later. So all you gotta do is press the gang button down here in the corner and you'll be presented with two options here, either join a gang or create a gang. Now I would suggest that you join a gang because creating a gang, you really need to have some friends with you and you know, have everything going. So join a gang, at least if you're starting in the game. So uh, after you press the join button, you'll get a list of gangs that are available in your home C. So uh, the, obviously the most important thing is to check if they have an application needed or if there's free entry. And I, I would suggest just pick a free entry gang. But uh, if you can, of course, pick the most powerful gang in the game, especially if you think you're going to play this game a lot and take it a little bit serious, then pick uh, the most powerful gang because the whole point of this game here is to make your gang the most powerful gang in the whole game. And uh, there'll be videos on that as well. So uh, anyway, uh, picking a gang takes a bit of research. Now the first thing you gotta look at is uh, territory. And uh, that's the color that the different gangs have you know, put on the sea and that means how powerful they are really. And uh, of course, like the closer a gang is to the center of the map, the better, because the center of the map is the place that you will be fighting for total domination of the map uh, once all the ports open up. So in three days, everyone will be fighting for this center of the map. So uh, the stronger the gang, obviously the better chance you've got in actually taking this center of the map and holding it and, you know, pretty much making all of the gangs your uh, slaves, more or less. <laughs> so uh, in this case here, my gang, for example, started all the way in the north and built, um, you know, towers all the way into the middle and we haven't broken it up. So that means that if someone breaks through, um, it's fairly easy to fix it and uh, that's also why I think this gang is the most powerful on this map after doing that i think you should click on your face icon up in the top left and pick the leaderboard section and then go to the gang section on the left there you can see the influence and the power of the dif different gangs on the seas which is your server and also the full server that'll help you in picking which gang to choose so uh, you can see how much influence and how much power they got also, if you want to join a certain gang, say you have a friend who has a gang you want to join, you can go into the gang list and uh, simply just enter the name of the gang that you want to, you know, you're looking for and uh, search for it. And uh, that will, you know, make it fairly easy just to join up. And as you can see, there's a lot of gangs in the game because pretty much anyone can create a gang, but it's very hard to make a gang prosper. You need a lot of good players to help you. and. Uh, I wouldn't recommend joining a friend's gang just for the sake of joining a friend's gang because chances are you are not going to make it. The gang list you open by clicking settings down in the right corner and then of course gang list. So uh, a gang has many members and not everyone is equal. As you can see under the rank section here, R5 means rank 5 is the highest. Rank 4 is of course the next and rank 3 and rank 2 and rank 1 and so on. And uh, as a general rule, all ranks have different permissions. So obviously rank 5 can do anything, even including disbanding the gang. And uh, rank 4 can do most of the important stuff in the game and uh, so on and so forth. As you can see here, if you go into authorities, you can see exactly what you can do at the different rank. So as you can tell, R4 and R5, they can do most things in the game, while R1, R2 and R3, they're a little bit more limited. Uh, they can do some things, but definitely not everything. So uh, if you want to do something fairly important in the game, you will need to get an R4 or an R5 to do it for you if you are an R1, 2 or 3, right? All right, next little tip here is don't forget to check your stash. If you go into the gang section and press the stash button, 
you can claim all the daily gifts here and don't forget to choose the rare section here where you get the rare boxes that people get when they actually purchase something in the game because then the gang gets a box as well. Alright, next little tip here is the gang market and missions. Uh, missions are stuff that you do to help your gang prosper. For example, deal 30,000 damage to other players. That will net you 300 gang seals per 30,000 damage, right? So remember to do this because gang seals are really important. You can spend those in the gang shop where you can buy all sorts of things like uh, legendary weapons or you know items and also uh, sail paint and all sorts of uh, upgrades for, for example, uh, heroes and uh, of course also conks. So uh, important, don't forget to go to the gang market and check once in a while. I know it's expensive, uh, like everything is like 2000, at least all the good stuff. But uh, you'll make uh, gang seals fairly quickly if you just, you know, do what you're supposed to do. And for example, donating to your gang is a very easy way of making gang seals. All you got to do is go into the donation section, donate 20 times. You can donate wood, rock or, you know, emeralds or gold. Do that 20 times and uh, that will pretty much, you know, guarantee that you get some gang seals. So now I can claim two, 300 gang seals, meaning 600 gang seals here for, you know, two seconds of work. All right, next up, don't forget to claim your salary by clicking the little red dot here. Uh, a lot of people miss that because it's not very obvious, but uh, just click it and then click the salary button every day and you will get your salary for being part of the gang. So don't forget to do that, right? It's really important and uh, a lot of people seem to forget it. So uh, that's how you do it, super simple. All right, next up, to help your gang, you also need to obviously participate and be like in the chat, talk to your team members, but also Keep an eye on the leaderboard, like keep an eye on how powerful your gang is. And remember the server is everyone on the server, obviously, and then the C's is uh, like your kind of local server there. And uh, it's important that you are powerful on the C's, probably the most powerful gang, uh, because that means that you have a better chance of actually taking that map over. Uh, on the server, as you can see here, like it's pretty hard to be the most powerful gang because uh, well, some of the gangs are like three, four times more powerful here. But uh, if you're doing well on the server, then in general, you're doing well. Another thing to keep in mind is to check your gang savviness once in a while. Now, if you're not an R4, you can't really you know, do much in here, but it's good to keep an eye on it and see how much you you know, upgraded along the way and uh, what you're able to do as a gang. All right, lastly, I'll show you how to leave a gang because sometimes you'll have to leave a gang if it becomes, you know, really weak and you want to join a powerful gang, you go ahead and do that. That's better for the game and it's better for you. So uh, how to leave a gang, you just go into the gang section and you press the settings button down in the corner and then you press exit. That's all you got to do and then you have left the gang, right? So if you want to join a new gang, you just do exactly like I did in the beginning of this video and that's all there is to it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you out there.